Alright, so I want to talk about seasonal events in video games. The reason to go back to old games this season. These are a type of event in a game which typically doesn't change too much in terms of gameplay, but instead pretty much just keeps the same old content the game already had, and just throws up a few Christmas lights and maybe gives the player a Santa hat or something. What? I swear these seasonal events in video games have been getting much more popular and bigger over the years. I remember back when it was pretty much just Minecraft getting Christmas gift chests on Christmas Day, but now there are full-blown in-game events just for certain holidays, which is really cool, definitely not something to complain about. And while a lot of games simply just put out a few cosmetics and collectibles and maybe change up the game map a little bit with some seasonal cheer, some games go above and beyond with their seasonal events. There are video games adding in essentially all new free holiday themed DLC for their game. And it's rare to find a game to do this, and do it good in my opinion, but when a game really hits the mark with a seasonal event, it is really fun to play. Which is important for a video game developer, because a seasonal event isn't going to be what's getting new players into the game. I mean, typically seasonal events coincide with seasonal sales for a game which is more likely to draw in a new player, but the event itself alone is not going to be dragging in any new players. So, all that to say, it is important for seasonal events to be exciting enough to draw back in old players and help keep the game community alive. I know I have definitely gone back to older games because of seasonal events and stuck around a little bit after the event has ended because I remembered how good the game was. And while it is Christmas and that is the holiday a majority of games celebrate with events, seasonal holiday events are not just limited to this time of year. Almost every horror game to exist will have a massive Halloween event because I mean, duh, why wouldn't it? Ark Survival Evolved has a major event for nearly every big holiday like Easter, Thanksgiving, and Valentine's Day for example, and tons of other games have events for all the other seasons and holidays as well. But for the most part, Christmas is easily the most represented when it comes to gaming seasonal events. It's so easy to do so, just look at CSGO. All they do is add a Santa hat to the chickens and honestly right there is the best Christmas event you could ever put together. Terraria definitely deserves some special recognition for how it handles its seasonal event. Any time throughout the year there is an in-game event that you can summon which has a very large Christmas theming in the bosses, weapons, enemies, and so on. But on top of that event, every year during the Christmas time there is an additional event that you can summon that also has a Christmas theme. They could have very easily locked the already existing event that's in the game behind the Christmas time to play but they went out of their way to add just another event for Christmas. You can unlock Santa. Sure, it's only for a limited time before the Christmas season ends, but you can unlock Santa. Now I could go on and on about different games and how they handle their seasonal events, but in the end it's all very similar to each other so it's not really worth getting that into. Now admittedly Terraria is the game that got me thinking about the idea of seasonal events. I remember having to alter my computer's date and time to gain access to the event that's locked behind the Christmas time just to get an achievement that's tied to it. I've got tons of memories with other games associated with seasonal events besides just Terraria however. Like when I first got Satisfactory, it was during the Christmas and New Year's event and the character models had Santa hats and there were giant gifts that would fall from the sky. This event did last a bit too long in my opinion because after a while it does get really annoying when giant presents are falling all over your factory you're trying to build, but I do have a lot of good memories during that time of playing. Another game that I funnily enough have memories of playing during Christmas time is Phasmophobia, the horror ghost hunting game. Yeah, similarly to Satisfactory, I picked up this game around Christmas time with the event and now every Christmas I get this weird seasonal urge to play Phasmophobia. Ghost huntings and Christmas are forever associated in my mind now. I swear more and more games over the past couple years have been implementing seasonal events and I'm all here for it. It is always so nice when a game you were already playing ends up with an event or an old game in your library gets a seasonal event that's worth going back to revisit for. I really hope that these game developers continue to add these events and continue to raise the bar even higher for what a seasonal event can be. To think that there was a time when video games didn't have small little updates to celebrate a holiday. At best, maybe a mobile app game would get an event, but that was pretty much just to push more microtransactions. Looking back at some of the first notable seasonal events in a video game, it was always pretty much just a character in the game would get a Santa suit or maybe a few presents around the town map on Christmas Day. To see what it has evolved into now is amazing. Games are doing more and more each year for their seasonal events, and they're celebrating more and more holidays aside from just the big one that's Christmas. 
But what does all of this have to do with the bigger picture of gaming? Well, not really that much to be honest. These seasonal events, no matter what time of year, do not have a massive effect on the overall game. There isn't much to these events besides giving players a little bit more to do during the holiday season, or just to add a seasonal flair to the game to fit the mood. Seasonal events, to me at least, are nothing more than a fun little addition that a game receives during a certain time of year. I think it would be weird to see these events as anything more really. There are games built entirely around one holiday, like Elf Bowling for the Game Boy, sorry I had to bring that up, but that is a completely different thing at that point. You could argue that a game like Animal Crossing New Horizons always has some sort of seasonal event going on since the seasons of the game change to match real life, but that's not an event, that's a game mechanic. And to get really meta here, buying video games has become a seasonal event itself. Steam alone has a sale for every major season, with the two big ones being the summer and winter Steam sales. I look forward to those sales more than any in-game event a video game could release. But just like the reason for the season, these events are about giving. Developers are not required to release updates and events for us just because the calendar is on a certain time of year. Rather, they give us extra content to reward gamers who play their games during the season regardless of if anyone is asking for it or not. It's about giving and the goodness in our hearts. That's what seasonal events are all about in video gaming. Or something like that. I don't know, I just wanted to give this a moral lesson to tie it all in. Anyways, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!